Hello my friends, and in today's video we'll take a closer, detailed look at this all-new, completely redesigned 2014 Toyota Corolla with S Plus package. Toyota Corolla as a model is a very unique vehicle. Going back again to unique vehicles, it is actually, many people don't even know, but uh, it is the most mass-produced vehicle in the history ever so far in the world so by July of 2013 they sold over 40 million vehicles and it's it's just Corollas but there are so many other derivatives uh, that were built on the ba based on Toyota Corolla uh, worldwide so they passed this uh, 40 million mark and Toyota being company being so uh, relatively young and comparing with BMW or Mercedes uh, Toyota Corolla was actually introduced in 1966 and already became the best-selling car worldwide by 1974 and since then it uh, keeps the title and what it's famous for and at the same time it's one of the most reliable vehicles in the world which is uh, why actually it's uh, the best-selling what what makes it best-selling and uh, m most mass-produced but once you make a reliable vehicles people won't buy it and then uh, this mass production helps to improve the quality and the car we have today is Corolla's uh, latest 11th generation this S plus version and unlike regular Corolla it has uh, differences uh, it has available rear disc brakes and the sportier suspension tuning but still if you're a commuter who is satisfied with uh, Toyota's reliability and don't really care about dynamics but sometimes kind of want something different suspension sportier uh, kind of a drive this is the car probably for you uh, and uh, there are some changes um, in the interior for example the uh, regular Corolla ha already has um, front seats that already been uh, improved from the previous generation but this one has a little bit bigger bolster so it's make you feel like you're sitting in a sportier car and as far as the front part of course the front panel is uh, different uh, from the previous generation it's a completely different thing it's more now looks like uh, uh, Toyota Camry I couldn't uh, get used to it for a long time because I really like the shape of the previous uh, Corolla's front panel but uh, I like how many details this one has so it's a con kind of a compromise and of course this S Plus model has a little bit more equipment than the base model uh, leather wrap steering wheel with audio controls on the left and on the right for your phone and uh, uh, media and then a 6 inch touch screen with navigation and uh, controls for your uh, iPod or whatever it's uh, you're streaming for your phone through the Bluetooth connectivity and the seats here are power adjustable and uh, no leather available but what you see here is a softex uh, leather like material with the uh, synthetic middle part with this grainy uh, material looks very durable I showed it at the beginning of this video and now uh, uh, this is it for the front part of the vehicle now let's open the hood and check out the engine and now the engine the engine is uh, 1.8 liter for cylinder it is carryover from the previous generation it is uh, the main engine for cylinder dual VVTi that produces 132 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque uh, MPG is 29 in the city and uh, 37 highway with this continuously variable transmission that actually uh, helps to improve the uh, fuel economy but there is also a 6-speed new manual transmission available and there is also a carryover of this 4-speed automatic uh, uh, that uh, available as well and this is it for the engine now let's take a look at the back seat and do my traditional back seat test uh, this new Corolla has even more leg room than the previous generation it's because of the slim front seats and uh, the exhaust pipes under the car were uh, re-roaded uh, repositioned so it gave uh, a flatter floor 
so it also gave this uh, feeling of uh, more space on the back and uh, I don't even know what other uh, car in this segment has this much uh, legroom at this point and here me sitting right beside behind myself my height is 6'2 and it's right behind myself this is how much of the legroom I have and uh, the same softex uh, fake leather material on the back with uh, the grainy this durable material on the seating part and the seat is 60 40 uh, proportion collapsible so it gives you even more cargo space and uh, the headroom here's the how much of the headroom i have and this is it for the back seat and now uh, let's take a look at the trunk the trunk is is pretty much the same as what it was on the previous generation plus 40 60 collapsible back seats they're always helpful and under the floor you'll find the compact size spare tire with the uh, mount kit installed And now the rear suspension, it has a torsion beam arrangement here. Uh, Toyota stays conservative for uh, so many generations uh, with Corolla. But uh, hey, again, it's, it's one, more, uh, w one less problem because you don't have alignment uh, for the back wheels. And uh, it's simple construction. And on the front, it is uh, also conservative uh, with McPherson struts. Uh, but with new, more rigid uh, control arms design. And uh, yeah, this is it for the 2014 all new uh, redesigned Toyota Corolla. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please visit my channel. And uh, please don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe if you care. And for now, thanks for watching and see you uh, next time.